Janus. Great name here, says Hashtag Lines. Do you think Terry Wilson is a boom or bust player? I don't think he is at all. I think he's a good player. I think he's got the physical attributes, but he's good stopping the run. Is he a lead at rushing the passer? I don't believe so, but I don't think any of that. I think he'll be a good, solid player. And if the Lions took him, if they're forced to take a player at six, Carter, they're not going to take for whatever reason, or he's not there. Same with Will Anderson. I would go with Tyree Wilson then at that point. I think he'd be a solid player, help stop the run, getting to the passer. What do you think about Tyree? I wouldn't hate it. I mean, any any effort to bolster this pass rush, I'm all for it. I think the only thing I'm concerned about, and I guess the bust part of it, would be his injury concerns. So if you draft him um, and he's injury riddled, that's part of it. But you're, uh, to your yeah. point, I mean, you're at the very least, if he's healthy, you're getting a, a semi-productive player. So I wouldn't hate it, honestly. It's a position I need. So I'm all for it. For sure. I totally agree here. Let's see here. And if I miss your question, just repost it. I'm going to miss it. Why? Because there's almost 400 of you in the building right now. It's going to happen. Michael Brevort, question, who would you trade up for between our pick 18 and 48? I'm going to tell you right now, and we, we talked about this player a little bit, Bijan Robinson. If we didn't take him at 18, I'm a, I, you know what? I need, to get, I need to finish this offense completely. Let's have three first-round picks. Bijan Robinson with this offensive line, and the play action just scares the, the hell out of teams because that's what Jared Goff <laughs> – is really good at. And guess what? Bijan can also receive the football as a wide receiver. So you would have, imagine this, you're standing there on offense, you got DeAndre Swift on one side, Robinson on the other, a couple receivers. What does the defense do? What does the defense do? Or you got Bijan in the back, and you you, you know what? I'm going to put Swift in with him. What do you do? I, I think that is a great problem to have. Is there a player you would trade up for Maybe it's Robinson or someone else. So mine would be from 48. If you can jump, I kind of mentioned it earlier, but two players I'm sold on, Jack Campbell, somebody that I think is rising up draft boards. You can get him probably early second round if he doesn't go late first. The other one would be Emmanuel Forbes because I I don't know if they dress the corner at 6 or 18. So if you want to get a corner, if you want to get a linebacker, you trade up for either of those two players. So those are the two I'm, I'm marked on or locked in on. Folks, we are 15 likes away from an ultra combo. So hit that like button right now. We're at 85. Like to get to 100. Here's a little taste. That's the combo breaker. You get to 100, we're going to do the ultra combo, and that's what it's all about. Hey, Grandizer reminded me. He's always reminding me. I love it, man. Appreciate you. Hashtag win the North. Do you think Jack Campbell goes in the first round? I I do now after the NFL combine. I was very high on him. Uh, week four, all of this last season, I said, I would love to have Jack Campbell here. He was rising, rising, and a fall combine happened. It's like, man, I think he may go in round one. I love Jack Campbell. He is the prototypical linebacker, Spielman type of guy. You put him with Alex Anzalone and Malcolm, you know, come on and specific downs. Jeff, that defense would be ridiculous. Yes, it would. Uh, it, it, real quick, too. Uh, shout out to Nine Drinks in the chat. See him in the morning we'll show every morning. And Dab Daddy, Jeff, what's your OnlyFans account name? All right. I don't know. We'll, we'll, I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know how that got brought up. I don't, I don't have an OnlyFans account, um, so I will not be giving you a name. But Jack Campbell, uh, to speak on him real quick. Yes, I believe he'll go late in the first round. He killed the combine. And on top of that, he, he's good in coverage. You could argue he's one of the best, if not the best linebackers in this class. Um, he's a thumper. He's big, physical, strong. Uh, again, a guy that I would love on the Lions, but I think other teams are going to fall in love with him, to yeah. your point, Mike. So I could see him going uh, late in the first. Yeah, he's a high riser. And w- and luckily, though, if you want a linebacker, there is a ton of talent. Late first, early second round, second round talent there. You're talking about Drew Sanders, Trenton Simpson, who I like, Hanley. I like. There's a lot of guys in there. Overshone, I've talked about him a year ago. I said he was a sleeper. He ain't a sleeper no more. DeMarvin Overshone is blowing up draft boards. He could probably go now in round three, potentially. Noah Sewell, Mm -hmm. I think he's dropped a little bit. You could probably get him in round three or a late second round. A lot of quality linebackers out there that we can get, folks. We hit over 100 likes with 400 in the building. That deserves a... One more time. Appreciate you guys getting to 100 likes, man. God, don't you? You ever play that game, Killer Instinct? It's one of my favorites. No, I I did not. But I love the I love the sound effect. Oh man, I I love that game. I I played it when it was 
Super Nintendo, then it went to N64, and now I got it on my Xbox. I love Killer Instinct. It's a killer game. It's like a Mortal Kombat. Same type yeah, of thing there. Yeah. Play Mortal, I played Mortal Kombat. No, yeah, I played yeah, yeah. Killer Instinct. Come here! All right, that's some good stuff there. Yeah. Hashtag FGP. Do you think Jameson Williams should take zero now that it's available? Still don't like number nine on him. I know a lot of people don't like that number nine on him because it was from Stafford. I think if there's one person to take the zero, it would be Jameson Williams. What do you think about the number zero? Who do you think takes it? So I don't really get people's obsession with numbers and how they look on players. I mean, I don't really care, to be honest with you. I guess if you're wearing zero, you kind of open yourself up to criticism if you stink because you're wearing zero. But other than that, I don't really care. Like Jamison wearing nine, I know people are offended. It, listen, it was Matthew's number. It's Jamison's now. It's a new era. I don't really think too much of any of these things, but like, I mean, a lot of people, you, you can get offended over anything nowadays. So I guess numbers are the end all be all. But for people who are watching football forever, I get it. I mean, you're used to certain positions having certain numbers. Now you're going to start seeing, you know, random guys wearing zero. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I, a lot of people get offended over little things. Look, number nine, we appreciate what he did here. He won a Super Bowl over there, but we're not with. Jared Goff, so and, and nine right now is with JMO. If we trade up to pick three, Anderson or Carter, I think it'd be for Will Anderson. I do believe Jalen Carter falls to six. Yep. I personally believe they're not taking him. That is my thought. Would I take him? Probably, yeah. But if we're to trade up, I think it would be for Will Anderson because he has zero character flaws. You know the motor that he's going to bring, and he's probably the first defender off the board. What do you think? If the Lions were to trade up, would it be for Carter or Will Anderson? Uh, so I'm, I'm reading your you got, By the way, your audience is hilarious. This chat just keeps going, by the way. Shout out to everyone in the chat. But I, I would say Will Anderson. I think that's the obvious one. I'm with you. Jalen Carter, I think you'll have an opportunity to get him. The Raiders already came out and said they're, he's completely off their draft board. So the fact that the Raiders said that where they're picking must tell most people that they they have an idea he'll be there for the Raiders. So I would say Will Anderson, no doubt. He's, he's not falling past Arizona, in my opinion. No, unless unless Arizona trades back, I think that if they stay there, it's Will Anderson. That is going to be the pick. I think it yeah. definitely goes C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Anderson. We don't really know what the Colts are going to do. Are they going to trade for Lamar Jackson? If they don't, it's probably AR-15. And then you look at Seattle Seahawks. Who knows what they're going to do? So that, that's kind of how the way I see it. We got Matty P. Apparently Matt Patricia here says, Hashtag Mike, which players would upset you if we took at 6 and 18? Upset me at six. It's hard to really upset me at six. Uh, I think there'll be. I think it would upset me if we didn't trade back. I don't know if it really upset me. I, that's just what I want. I think you get Tyree Wilson there. I'd be fine with that if they really wanted to go Jalen Carter. I'd be absolutely fine with that if somehow Will Anderson's there. A lot of defensive players I think would be fine, for sure. Eighteen. If they went tight end, I'm going to be pissed. All right. I don't think we need a tight end. Everyone mocks tight ends to us. What in the hell is up with everybody in tight ends? Jeff, are I, you with me? Are you tired of tight ends? Only if you go to a gym and there's a, a female workout warrior, tight ends are good. But when it comes to football in the Detroit Lions, we don't need that right now. Okay, I, well, I agree with both those statements. But with, with the tight end, if you, if you talk about tight ends, let's look. Let's go in the NFL right now. Let's take a trip through memory lane, Mike. All right, you got Travis Kelsey, George Kittle, Dalton Schultz. I mean, you could go uh, down the list. It does not matter what tight end. Most of the tight ends you're going to name are drafted past the first round. It is what it is. I mean, this is where we're at right now in the NFL. So you have TJ Hawkinson, but other than that, you're getting the guys that are found later in the draft. I mean, even Darren Waller to a certain extent. You have Cal Pitts and you have TJ Hawkinson. So I'm with you. Stay away from a tight end at 18. It makes no sense. I think there's going to be good value for tight ends if you're taking one second, third, fourth round, whatever it is. Uh, so I'll pass. Now, what would frustrate me? Will Levis or Anthony Richardson at six. I think I'd have a hard time swallowing that, even though it, you know it's Brad, it is what it is. Or 18, it'd have to be a tight end. I'm with you. Yeah, man, I, I, I'll just do. I'm done. We take a tight end. I'm done because it wouldn't make no yeah. sense to me. Show some love to Yoga Pants in the comments section. Everybody loves Yoga Pants. Throw some love to Yoga Pants. Lions Kool Aid hashtag F Karen. I agree with you. Do you think that JMO is going to be a superstar? 
I think he is. I I know a lot of people were mad. You know, he liked the Lamar post. Oh, he he's got a little diva in him. Look, I still think he's extra. I think he's young, folks. I think he could be talented. Play action, blow up. Remember last year, they slowly worked him in. He didn't have a training camp, didn't have no mini camps, didn't have an offseason with Jared Goff. It's different this time. You got all that. I think he is going to be a superstar. I think he's going to be a kick ass wide receiver. And, um, you know, years to come, they're going to say this is one of the, the scariest threats in the NFL. Yeah, I'm with you. I mean, it, we could just start with where he was drafted. I think if you draft a wide receiver where he was drafted, you trade up to get him, num- you know, number two, yes, he should be a superstar. You saw flashes. He touched the ball, what, three or four times, I believe. Two catches, three catches. And he had like a, a rushing, uh, whatever it was, 40-yard rush. So he's got basically every time he's touched the ball, Mike, he's got 40 yards. So that's, I mean, hey, listen, I'm not a genius, but that's a pretty good thing. So you see the big playability. Now we just need to get the chemistry part with Jared Goff, which he'll get this summer. So I would say, yes, it, it's fair. You, you should expect him to be a superstar. Trying on Kaysen. Do you think they'll get the deal done with Calais Campbell? No, because he just signed with the Atlanta Falcons. I think it was yesterday. So he's not going to come in here. Hashtag Lions. What are the odds the Lions get more than one defensive tackle? <sighs> I don't I don't think they get more than one. I think they just get one. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you have let's just start with who you re-signed, right? Bugs, you have Elim, yep. you bring in another one, and then you have Levi Ozarike, who's somewhere in the background that we don't know if he's coming back to be hundred percent healthy. So I would say no. I've seen mocks with Jalen Carter and Kalijah Cansey in the first round. I absolutely although listen, oh, no. don't get me wrong. It oh. sounds intriguing. It's not, yeah, I know what you're doing oh. with him, Mike. I, I, you got to calm down. I, trust me, I know it's exciting. Oh, but really, my God. It, it just doesn't make sense. But, yes, uh, listen, I, I wouldn't say. I would say one defensive tackle. Yeah, for sure. It, it, that one makes sense for there. Unless you're getting, like, a universal player that can play inside and outside, that's something a little bit different. Right. But you're stalk, if you're talking straight DT, I think it's just one. Matty P here again. It says, hashtag my quarterback aside. Do you expect our picks at 6 and 18 to be day one starters? I'm going to surprise you, and I'm going to say no. I think that they got so good right now with the depth at this position that there's a possibility at 18, maybe they go cornerback, and he's not necessarily a day one starter because you got Sutton, you got C.J. Gardner-Johnson, you got you know Emmanuel Mosley and Jerry Jacobs, and we don't know what's going on with the Kuda. So I think it's possible one of these guys are contributors, but not a day one straight starter that's going to be on every single play. I think that's possible. 